Hello everyone, and welcome back to The Sims 4 Laboratory Challenge, where we dive into our laboratory lab in order to mix and match all sorts of different animal genes to create some curious crossbreed creatures. And today we are celebrating cottage living. This is not a drill. We have cottage living now, you guys, and I am so excited. We actually have chickens, we have rabbits, we have llamas, we have cows all added into our Sims four worlds now and I am so excited to be able to start exploring all of those things more as we dive in with Fern Green of our Green Family Legacy. Generation 3 heiress finally getting a time to really shine in what I feel like is a pack completely created for the Green Family. I am still ecstatic about it if you can't tell. But with those animals also comes my curiosity of seeing what happens if we start crossbreeding some of those creatures. And just a quick disclaimer friends of course the llama cow and rabbit are not creatures that you can actually have here and create a pet you get them kind of as separate objects with cottage living however thanks to the amazing kalino we actually do have some fantastic custom content like this that can transform your puppies into a, a llama which i'm very happy with and that gives us the ability to go ahead and mix the llama genes with are you guys ready for this a little Look at this little one! This is so interesting because now we have a fox both in create a pet that you can have as a pet that lives at your home and might have little fox kits and things like that. And you can also have wild foxes that roam around the world and each one looks a little bit different. I actually really love that because if you look and pay attention in the Sims 4 like create a pet stuff, the breed is considered to be a domesticated fox. So now we just have like a domesticated fox variety and a wild fox variety, which means we get to play with their genetics, which I'm very happy about. But all right, friends, you'll hear me wax on more and more about the wonders of cottage living over in the Green Family Legacy series, so be sure to give that the... I'm, called, I'm calling it Cottage Escape right now, because, like, Fern is running away from being chased out of Evergreen Harbor by an angry mob. Let's just say, if you like complex stories in Sims, I love them too, and I always try to sneak them into my Sims lives, so you can dive over there to check that out, but for now... I hope all of you are ready to put on your lab coats and safety goggles, and we are going to start mixing together Michelle the Llama's jeans here with Ray the Fox, and you are actually a fox, Ray. Here, I'm going to change your breed so it properly says fox. There we go. But we're going to try mixing these together because I love the idea that we might get some llama babies that have fox coloring, and then think about the amazing wool that you would be able to make out of that. Just think about it. That would be so cool. But all right, so let's see. Let me get all of the Petri dishes lined up, the comments put into the random comment generator so that some of you guys can actually end up becoming some of the babies they have. And let's do a quick look over with our little checklist. Uh, we do have a lot of custom content on Michelle the Llama, but it's mostly decorative. Really what makes Michelle look the most like a llama, in my opinion. Let's see. Oh wait, Michelle, are you supposed to have... No, I think you're good. I think you look pretty good like a llama. But let's see if there's any extra genes that we would need them to inherit. And Michelle, are you supposed to have the horse face? No, you're not supposed to have the horse face. I'm sorry. Here. Wait, wait. Oh, no. Oh, no. I've lost her cute little... There we go. I love her cute little harness. But yeah, all of this custom content is made by Kalino, and she does such a great job. Absolutely check it out if you want to add in a whole bunch of like exotic cool animals into your sims world uh, But it looks like the only thing we have to worry about inheriting are the little hooves Got it. Okay, so the dice of destiny will be rolled for the tiny little hooves. Let's get to this All right into the petri dish we go Michelle. Thank you very much. Oh it's So cute. We need to do some more llama crossbeads guys We'll have so much fun with that and Ray the fox as the two combined <gasps> We got a little black fox patterning. Look at that. This is actually going to be O'Hart from Jeff O'Hart. And I just love the idea of naming this little guy O'Hart. But look at you. So you're actually going to be aggressive, a glutton, and a little bit of a couch potato. But it's going to be really cool to see. Like, definitely have fox coloring. Looks like we have the llama tail. But we're going to have to see what you look like when you grow up, Jeff. I think that that's going to be adorable. Also, I do love the idea of greyhounds and cheetahs being mixed together. That would be really fun. All right, let's go ahead and 
Also, let me grab my to write down all of your suggestions. There we go. Oh, this is another cute little llama mix. And now, all right, boom. Okay, random comment pulled up for the next name. And please welcome in <gasps> Little Smoke from Black Wolf Smoke. Oh my goodness, we actually are ending up with a lot of dark little like llama fox puppies. I didn't expect that. And Smoke, you are going to be a troublemaker who's vocal and adventurous. Probably all of those traits. Well, actually, troublemaker sounds pretty perfect for llamas because in case you guys didn't see our Planet Zoo series with llamas um, and didn't know this story, llamas really hate me. Chips thought when we were first dating that I was exaggerating, but I am not kidding you. Ever since I was a child and a llama spat in my face on my 10th birthday, I seem to have been marked by by llamas as like just a spitting target. And I try really hard to stay away from llamas at petting zoos, at zoos and stuff like that, because we can walk into the petting zoo and the llamas will turn around and suddenly I have all of them just staring straight at me with their ears back. There's something about me that llamas don't like. So it's going to be really interesting to see how things go down in The Sims. and. If, if you guys could, could you actually maybe console my bruised little 10 year old heart? And if anyone else has been spat on by a llama, can you please speak up so I don't feel so alone with this? <laughs> but all right, there's my traumatic story with llamas. Um, so actually I was gonna say troublemaker sounds like a fox thing. Forget that, I think it's the llamas. <laughs> And Black Wolf Smoke, thank you so much for commenting that Finnick Foxes mostly ate termites. I did not know that. I am absolutely astounded. Termites and bug. Wow. That wasn't what I thought the Finnick Fox diet would be. Cool. All right. Let me pull up the next name. Dun, dun, dun. Here we go. And now, friends, welcome. <gasps> oh, my word. This is so freaking cute. Oh, my gosh. I'm kind of freaking out about it. All right, guys, I would like you to go ahead and welcome Pizza! This is gonna be little Pizza from Pizza Lou. And Pizza Lou, you suggest mixing together a cheetah and a tiger. So that's gonna go down on the list too. I don't think we've done that one, but the amazing thing about random genetics is that every time we do a mix, it's going to be unique and different. Just like, you know, unless they're identical little twins or something, no two children will be the same. Unless you're you're an armadillo. Armadillos always have uh, quadruplets, four babies at once, and they're actually clones of each other, but we'll talk about that later. <clears throat> All right, moving on. Next Petri dish and next game. Here we go. We're going to welcome in. Yes, another one colored like a fox with fox eyes. This is actually little Shelby. Shelby, welcome. Welcome. You're going to have so much fun uh, being a couch potato who is stubborn and friendly. I'm actually thinking that the stubborn trait is also from the llamas. You know what? I'm really glad we're working with Michelle and we're doing some llama mixes, but I was not prepared for how it unearthed my deep, deep, complicated relationship with llamas. Ah, oh, well, let's carry on. It'll be so much fun going ahead and seeing what you turn out to be. And then let's go ahead. Oh, look, we finally got one with little llama patterning. And this is actually going to be named Little Love. So, Love, welcome, welcome. And, Love, you suggest a dragon and any wild animal. Okay, you guys are, like, really into dragon crossbreeds. I'm going to have to probably add that in, like, at least a couple times a month. And also, I find it highly amusing how many of you are aghast that I have not read Wings of Fire, including my niece. So, I will add that to the list, too. I've been thinking it might be fun to do something kind of wings of fire with maybe dragon taming-esque uh in minecraft as a role play series so we'll, we'll we'll play with that idea we'll play with it but for now we're playing with llama fox crossbreeds so let's carry on man i love what guys come up with for ideas of what we can crossbreed okay the eyes on this one are adorable not the one we're keeping but adorable because i love seeing your curiosity just come to life all right Last one. Oh, hi, little one. You too are. Oh, look at the little tail. Oh my gosh. And this is going to be little Nelson. Nelson, welcome. Welcome. You are going to be a hunter. A fierce little hunter. Yeah, you're going to get it. Who's playful and adventurous. Oh, 
All right, you guys, I think we have a good mix. We have two from kind of like the black fox jeans. Then we have two from the fox jeans. I think pizza is gonna like absolutely slay us when it comes to adorable puppies, just saying. Uh, also Shelby, oh my gosh, they're both so cute. And then we've also got two from the llama jeans with Love and Nelson. So now it's time to go ahead and grow this little group up and see if any of them inherit the llama hooves. So let's do this. All right, Ohart, you're up first. Ooh, look at you! What a noble face! Wow, I wasn't expecting such like a broad jaw on this one. I love Ohart's ears. That is really, really, really cute. And let me roll the dice of destiny. And Ohart, you did not actually inherit the, uh, the hooves. So you're gonna look mostly like a very serious fox. I like it. Also, like we probably don't wanna pet Ohart too much because Ohart is just a little bit aggressive. So do use caution fronts. Next up is little Smoke. Let's go ahead and grow you up, my friend. Oh! Oh! Oh dear! Oh my! <laughs> this is the opposite of what I thought could happen. Smoke! Your eyes! Your eyes don't even fit into your skull! You look like what? What, what is that animal whose eyes are like mostly eye eye? The eye eye eye. The eye eye is like a type of lemur, I think. Um, I think it's part of the lemur family. But the eye eye, ironically, has eyes that no. The ostrich, yeah. The eye eye and the ostrich have eyes that are like ridiculously huge for the size of their skull. And in the case of the ostrich, it actually has decreased the amount of cerebral matter they have, which means that they are not as smart as other bird species because they're mostly just eye ball. Um, Smoke, I'm sure you are the most clever, tiny, unique thing in the world though. And you actually did inherit some hooves if I can find some for the small size. Um, well then! So, okay, let's see what's going on with pizza. Pizza, did I not give you any trades? There we go. Pizza, you're a hunter who is aggressive and smart and now I'm a little bit more concerned about what you could grow up to be with those cute floppy ears, but we'll see. <laughs> Pizza, you did end up becoming a gigantic box llama. Look at you. You're going to have probably the most fascinating fur. I did get to touch a fox pelt at a natural history museum once, but honestly, I can't remember what it felt like. I think it was really soft. If any of you guys have ever touched a fox pelt before, do you remember like what the quality of the fur is like? And actually, if you've pet a llama before, what does it feel like? I, I've never gotten close enough to pet them. They usually spit on me first. Oh, but pizza, you turned out so cool. You did not inherit the hooves, by the way. So let's see what little Shelby's gonna do. <gasps> Shelby, you turned out big too. And Shelby is also a fox llama. We have created fox llamas, friends. I am now content. I have done something amazing with my day. Uh, and there we go. We're gonna give Shelby some hooves because Shelby did inherit the hooves. Fox llamas, yes. All right, love, you're up next. <laughs> what? What? Love, how on earth did you do that? I have no idea, but it's, it's, I love the tail. I love the ears. I love that you're trying to have as much fur as a llama, but you're kind of fox sized. This is so cool. I didn't expect these mixes to be quite so dramatic. This is really fine. All right. Thank you, love. I, I really adore your little ears. That's really cute. And then finally, we have little Nelson. Oh, little Nelson stayed fox sized with this cute little weird tail. So they're gonna be okay. So now we have uh, llama fur or fox-sized llamas, and we have llama-sized foxes. This is fantastic. This was a beautiful mix. Mwah. Absolutely wonderful. All right, guys. So do let me know down in the comments who was your favorite mix this time around. What would you like to see mixed in our laboratory next time? Um, and which one you think was? I'm so sorry, Smoke. The most unexpected. And then I will see you guys for more of our laboratory adventures next time. Stay curious, everyone. Like, really curious. Really, really curious. Bye-bye.